Hello everybody, how is it going? Welcome to another video of the tutorial series learning about web and application security. I'm your host Anur Ali and I'm here today with the new topic and actually it's the continuation of the previous video where we learned about the basic of SQL injection and uh, how is it done and uh, what kinds of approaches do the hackers use to inject uh, scripts and codes into our forms and application so today i will be demonstrating you a, an, a practical example of sql injection and in order to save some time i have uh, created a database let me just show you localhost in my local uh, pc or mac PHP my admin <coughs> so if you see I have created a database called injection and here I have a table called users and if you can see inside users I have used a very simple table without any uh, mechanism of storing the password uh, in hash format or just everything is plain text just to make sure just to demonstrate to you properly that uh, what are the informations that i can grab using a screen injection so i've created everything in just plain text but you can use your own hash that won't make any big difference but we can talk about that later on so i have a table called users inside my database injection with four columns and I have ID full name username and password and generally the practice of use as we discussed in our previous video that generally people use and uh, the first entry of the users table as admin uh, entry because mostly when the when, whenever the developers work they will start working from the back end and in order to get into the admin panel they generally create a, a admin username and password first so basically in most of the database of applications you'll find admin username and admin password on the top or as the first entry of users table this is what the hackers and generally uh, assume when they start with uh, SQL injection through users table for users table so I'm just creating the same scenario I'm making my first entry as admin entry with admin admin as full name and my username is admin password is admin okay and I have my second entry as Anwar Ali and my username is Anwar and password is Anwar Pass so this is my database and secondly I have created <coughs> a simple uh, folder called injection with two different PHP files so the first file is index.php and the second file is submit.php let's suppose that this is our login form which is very simple form method equals to post and it is submitting this form to submit.php perfect and my first entry is input type equals to text name equals to username and the second entry is password you must have noticed i have used the type text instead of type password this is just to demonstrate to you uh, about what I'm about to type in my um, form fields to manipulate the queries and inject my own queries to the database so once <coughs> the form is submitted it takes me to submit.php now if you go to submit.php I have written a basic script over here uh, the first one is to connect to the database which is localhost my username my password this is my host name username password and this is my database name injection as I showed you earlier so injection is my database name so I'm grabbing username since it is being sent as post so I'm using dollar underscore post username and password equals dollar underscore post but no security measures taken right now just very simple uh, PHP so I'm grabbing the username and password from index of PHP using dollar underscore post uh, and I'm writing a query this is actually a query that is used to check if the username and password exist in the database and this generally this query is written for login purpose so what I'm doing is I'm saying select all from users 
where username equals to this username and password equals to this password everything seems okay till now now after the query has been prepared i am trying to execute the query using mysqli underscore query i'm sending this link over here and the query over here mm -hmm. so this executes the query and i'm fetching the query so i'm using a while loop i'm fetching it as an associative uh, array so i'm fetching this result as associative array and each loop i'm assigning it to row and in each row i am dumping the row so let's go and try the application so basically if i hit correct username and password it should dump me a row and if i'm mistaken it should not give me anything so let us go and let us type localhost slash the folder name is injection i create it in the web server so it will load me a simple login form let me just zoom it a little bit so that it's easier for you to see so you can see username and password firstly just with the uh, with these sets of code i can see you these are lots of problems for example if i just use single quote over here and single quote over here it will throw me error i guess it won't work at all let me show you uh, something now before we start with var dump i would like to show you uh, invalid username and password so let me just type kkk j j h h which is not which does not exist in the database o o p p i login nothing happens get back let us try to log in with the uh, correct username and password which one of the username and password was a n w a r and a n w a r p a s s this was my password so if i hit login now it is dumping me the entry of anwar ali which is id equals to two full name equals to anwar ali and password equals to anwar pass that's perfect so if i'm hitting the correct username and password it's dumping me and the correct entry similarly if i hit admin and admin pass it is it should still uh, give me the correct dump you can see id equals to one full name is admin admin username is admin and password is admin pass so everything is working good so if i hit wrong password and or wrong username it gives me blank if i hit correct username and password it gives me the respective entry now what i'm about to show you is I can get the entire entries entire entries means all of the entries from this uh, <coughs> all of the entries from this uh, table like one and two both without typing correct username and password using the SQL injection so before that I would just like you to show how do we manipulate the sql query so we know that basically people write this kind of stuff for login purpose they execute this so let me just uh, die over here so that it does not execute the commands below so 7 8 9 and 10 11 these are almost like they are commented because the execution the and the, and the the code below the die will not uh, execute now let's just print the query after we fill out the form so let's see if I type in admin and admin pass like we did earlier what is the SQL query that we are getting you can see select all from users where username is admin and password is admin pass now the target for SQL injection is we should be able to modify this query somehow okay let me give you a scenario so what I want to do is I want to somehow enter into the table users and grab all the entries so in such case what should be my query is select select all from users so if if so if this was our query we could have uh, got all the uh, entries from uh, all of the entries from my users table right but our query is select all from users along with some conditions so this is the condition which we need to break which we need to modify somehow in order to get into users table 
so what I'm trying to do is we cannot break this uh, username equals admin so I want to modify this query somehow <coughs> with the data I provide from the form so if I can change where username equals to admin into something like where username equals to admin or let's say one equals to one or a equals to a so if I can change username in is equal to admin to username equals to admin or a equals to a which means this is always true if this even if we type in wrong username password it will still validate or a equals to a so it will get into user stable okay similarly and we have and password equals to admin pass suppose we didn't type admin pass and type something wrong but if we can modify this into or a equals to a now if we can modify this query into this somehow we are now able to get all the entries from the database let me just quickly show you through php my admin if i just go in there and paste the query over here you can see the username is admin uh, and password is wrong but i can still get all the entries if i just hit go you can see i can get both the entries it is still valid so this is what i'm trying to do i'm trying to break the condition i'm trying to break the programming programmed condition into my condition so i'm trying to modify the condition over here so what i will do is i'll just manipulate the form like this <clears throat> get back so you, if you can see let me just uh, uh, show you so we see that the admin is placed into single quote like this right admin is placed into single quote so if we can type in if we type admin it is placed in a single quote like this so what i'm about to do is i'll do it this way the starting of the single quote this single quote i will end it over here okay but we still have one more single quote over here which automatically comes so i'll prepare some query for that i'll say or single quote a equals to a but i'll not close this and i'll leave this quote to close that so you can see this is our username so whatever we type in here it gets in here so let us just copy this and paste it over here instead of this username and see what it is modified into let us write our basic query first mod not modified query so our basic query is and password password equals to admin pass right so if I instead of typing admin if I type this so this will get into here so I'll just if I just paste it you will see it is giving us a perfect SQL query without any mistake so previously if I would have just typed typed in admin this was our query but if we type it this way you can see that it is still giving us perfect query similarly for admin pass what I will do is type in any mistake any random password just give a single quote give a space or say a equals to single quote a but don't end the single quote over here and leave this quote this last quote to end our uh, uh, our single quote so if I just copy this and paste it over here and see it is still giving us the perfect query so this is how I can modify this query into this query so now if I go and try to log in it is giving me this query see select all from users where username equals to admin or a equals to a which is always true and password equals to this or a equals to a which is equals to true so in both the cases even in the case of username we have an or which is giving us returning us true 
and even for password we have a uh, or condition which is always true so this way I can guarantee you that I can get into the table and grab all the entries so let's now try to var dump now I'll just remove this echo and I'll remove the die and I'll just var dump to see how I my result looks like now so go, get back just try to log in uh, it says there's an error in line number 17 okay so this was just for demonstration so let me just quickly remove this save this get back and log in <clears throat> now see instead of getting one row I'm getting two rows so the first row is ID equals to one with full name admin admin username is admin and password is admin pass and my second entry is ID2, full name Anwar Ali, username Anwar, password is Anwar Pass. So you can see, I can see entire results. I can see all the credentials of users table without typing in correct credential. So if you go back, you can see my credential is absolutely garbage. It's rubbish. It's not correct. But still, I can by typing on this, we can get all the entries. So even if we type anything, any mistake over here, like this is nothing, this is nothing but garbage. Similarly, this is nothing but garbage. But just because of this additional uh, piece of code and this additional piece of code, we are able to get all the entries from the database. If you just uh, try to log in now, you can see admin entry, user entry, and all the entries of user. And this is how big companies who have not used proper security who has not passed their websites through different security levels and their information get breached and their information um, uh, gets uh, hacked so this was one of the simple but very very important demonstration of sql injection which i hope you liked and understood so if you have any confusions or any questions regarding the topic you can please mention in the comment and i'll try my best to answer them and uh, i'll try to see you guys with a new topic on the same playlist and uh, we'll try to cover some more few um, um, topics on the same uh, same playlist uh, till then have a nice time goodbye